Hello and welcome to the Isabellenhütte online video tutorial about how to configure our IVTS current and voltage sensing module with Busmaster. This video tutorial contains six chapters. Getting started, parts and wiring, setting up Busmaster, configuring result messages, configuring CAN IDs, configuring the CAN baud rate and configuring overcurrent thresholds. In this video, we want to talk about how to configure the CAN baud rate. For this, we will need the IVTS How To Document version 1.2, as well as the IVTS datasheet version 1.01. .01. Both documents are available for download on our website, isabellenhutteusa.com, or from the websites of our partners. In this tutorial, we want to modify the IVTS CAN baud rate from 500 kilobits per second, which is the default setting, to 250 kilobits per second. This procedure can also be found in the IVTS How To document on page 5. For this, we will have to send two messages. One command stop message, to which the module will respond with a response stop message and one restart message with the Prescaler 8 for 250 kilobits per second. Now we will look at how to put together the command stop message, the first message that we will have to send. This can be followed by looking at the IVTS datasheet page 25. And we will look at the section command set mode. The command set mode basically defines whether the module is in stop mode or in run mode and it has two different settings. The actual mode, which is valid until the next reset in data byte 1, and the startup operation mode, which requires a store command to um, save the setting and which is valid after each startup. Now to set the module in stop mode, we will have to choose data byte 0x34 for the set mode message and in data byte 1 we will choose 0x00 for the actual mode stop to set the module in stop mode. Optionally we can also set the data byte 2 which is by default configured to 01 run as if we want to configure the startup behavior after the next startup, but this is not mandatory. Data by 3 and 4 are for future access and don't have to be used, so we just can we can just leave them as they are at zero. Now we will configure the command restart to bitrate message. This information can be found in the IVTS datasheet on page 26. The chapter is Command Restart to Bitrate. First, we will set data byte 0 to the value 0x3a, Restart to Configured Bitrate. Data byte 1 will be set to 0x08 for 250 kbit per second. The bitrate is automatically stored before reboot, so no need to send an extra store command. So now we're back in Busmaster to actually go through how to put the messages that we just designed into the program and how to send them out to the module and actually get the module to respond to our messages. Now for this, we're going to switch back from the Tools tab to the CAN tab. And um, basically the um, windows that you will need are the message window right here um, which shows you the messages that have been sent to the module and received from the module and the transmission messages window right here this is actually the window that we're going to use to put the messages into the system now the transmission window can be pulled up by simply clicking this button right here and um, when I click there, you can see it's already there, so nothing happens. And the message window can be pulled up by clicking this button here. 
um, the first line here, the activate button has to have a check mark and then you will see it. Also, just an additional hint, under the Views tab right here, you have the option to actually arrange windows by cascading them, tile vertically, tile horizontally. So I tiled them vertically, um, that's just the view I like best. Um, just a little hint if you're not happy with how the windows show up here on your screen. So now we go back to the CAN tab. And we will start off in the Configure Transmission Messages window right here. Um, this window has three boxes, the transmitted messages frame list, the data byte view, and the signal details. Now the first thing we have to do to add a message is to double click on this field where it says add message. By doing so, you will see that a drop down menu comes up with all different categories of messages and we will always select the first one, the message command because all the other ones that we see down here are actually messages that are sent by the module and not relevant for configuring IVTS. And we see all these messages here because we uploaded our CAN DBC file before into Busmaster. Now we select the first message and by doing so, you can see that all command messages populate down here under signal details. So the first thing we're going to do is to put in the stop message. And um, you can see down here under signal details, there's a list of all the command messages. And you can select one of them. I'm going to select the actual mode message right here because that's the one that we're going to need for the stop message. And as you can see in the signal name, the first two digits here are always the data byte zero. So that can be of a little help when you put the message in the data byte view up here. Also on the right hand side, there's a matrix and this matrix basically has the data bytes on the Y axis like so, zero, one, two, three, and so on. And the actual bits of each data byte on the X axis right here from zero to seven. So basically, um, the data byte one bit zero is highlighted. So that means that this message will actually only accept um, the um, data byte one, the first bit to be changed. And um, you can technically also type this in as the raw value right here. So um, as we're gonna have the module in stop mode, the value that we actually need here is zero, but um, if you would type a five in here, for instance, it would switch to one because one is the only allowed value in there. So, and it will also populate up here, the data byte view under the data byte zero one for one, but that would be the run mode now. So, um, this helps a little bit with regards to the, uh, accepted bit values that actually can be entered in this window. Um, so I'm going to switch it back to zero because we actually want the data byte one to be zero. And then for the data byte zero, we have to type in, um, 34 for the stop message. So we're going to hit okay. And this is all we need to do for our stop message. Now in the frame list up here, you can see, um, there's a couple of parameters. Um, there's the message name frame ID, channel, data length, message type, RTR, which is the remote bit, um, which we won't need, repetition in milliseconds. Um, this is if you want the program to actually repeatedly send this message with a certain frequency of, um, for instance, 10 milliseconds, but we don't want that. We only want the message to be sent once. Now there's uh, different ways of uh, sending the message you can either click the send message button, which should highlight like so, um, or you can um, use a key from your keyboard. Set the check mark here. And now if I would hit the A key on my keyboard, this message would be sent. And we're gonna use this procedure for this demonstration video. So the next thing we wanna do is put in our bitrate configuration message. 
And as you can see, I already added another command message in our frame list up here and I pre-selected the restart to bitrate message in the signal details down below. So for the data byte 0 we're going to put in 3a as also depicted here in the signal details. And for the data byte 1 we're going to put in the value 08 for 250 kilobits per second. Now we're going to assign another key to the second message. We're going to put the check mark and we're going to select the letter B. Now we're ready to send our messages to our IVTS module. We can simply do that by pressing the assigned keys. Now we're going to go ahead and press the key A on our keyboard. And as you can see in the message window on the right, the messages populate in there. You can see the stop message was sent by Busmaster and IVTS responded with a stop confirmation. Now at this point, I want to mention that the module has been in stop mode, so you don't see any result messages coming in. But in the IVTS standard configuration, the module is actually in run mode. So you would need to send the stop message if you are in default configuration. Next, we're going to hit the B key to send our command restart to bitrate message. As you can see, the message was sent and we have received a response message from IVTS and also we see a couple of error messages coming up down here. Now, the command was received and stored and um, as we have set our Busmaster program and our peak can to USB transceiver, to the baud rate of 500 kilobits per second, we're seeing those error messages here because IVTS is now trying to send with a different baud rate. Now, the next step will be to reset the baud rate in Busmaster to 250 kilobits per second. To do this, we will disconnect Busmaster from the peak can to USB transceiver by pressing the disconnect button. We will then hit the button next to it, driver selection. And um, we will have to click on simulation first so we can actually reselect the peak USB um, transceiver down here. So we click on simulation, hit the driver selection again, click peak USB. And that brings up a pop-up window where we see our um, peak uh, CAN driver in there. We have it selected, we add it to our configured CAN hardware, and now here on the right, we're able to reconfigure the bit rate to 250,000 bits per second. We're entering this, we're hitting OK. And now in the next step, we will reconnect Busmaster to our peak CAN to USB transceiver by hitting the connect button. And as you can see, we receive the live message from the IVTS module. And um, uh, that means that the module can actually communicate again on the, the CAN bus through the peak CAN to USB transceiver. This can also be confirmed by simply hitting again the key A, which is another stop message. And by doing so, you can see that the message was sent and IVTS successfully confirmed with the corresponding response message. Please check out the final chapter linked below, how to configure the overcurrent thresholds of our IVTS module.